FTV, um, wow, what, uh, what a game, yeah, man. you know, for the neutral, you know, lots and lots of incidents. And I don't know, what, what, what did you make of it? I mean, first of all, Arsenal, why is it we can't defend? I have no idea, Robbie. Is it a coach? It's difficult to say. Do you know why? Because we've had the same problem with us in Wenger. So that brings us to the question, is it about the quality of players we have in the squad? Or is it about the coach? I'm confused because two coaches... International players, all of them. Yeah, yeah. But then International. To, or every single, every single one of those players playing for Arsenal, bar, I think, Saka, is an international. Look, it's not about whether they're international or they're not international. It's about the question of whether they can play together or whether they're very good defenders. That's the first question. Now, before Luis left Chelsea, if Lampard rated him as highly as you were thinking, he probably wouldn't have come here. And I'm not having a go at Luis. I'm looking at a person that's going to take us out there to win on Their defence weren't poor, Chelsea, was it? No, no, no. It wasn't that poor. Mm. What I'm saying is you have to look at the team. You have to look at the defensive shape of the team. Do we do, the do we need... Oh, hang on, hang on. The players we have in the squad, can they understand each other? Can they work together as a unit? That's the question. Do we have to start it's looking at Emery? We have to start looking at Emery because he's the one that chooses the team. He's the one that brought some of the players like Luis. But then again, you have to understand that Luis was a player that it was a panic buy as well. So it wasn't something he planned for, but he brought him to the team and he has to adapt. Now, the coach, of course, is the one that coaches the, the players. So yes, you have to point the finger at the coach, but sometimes you have to point the finger at the players. I'll give you an example. The goal we considered today, I'm not sure whether I'm going to blame um, Luis or Turney. Because Luis back was on goal. I mean, Luis, Luis was basically back in the defender. Turney was watching the defender coming. The question now is, is there a communication between the two of them? Was Turney telling Luis there's someone behind you to be aware of him? Because he wasn't aware of that defender. Do you understand? Exactly. This is the first time they're playing together. So there's a lot of technicalities behind this thing that we fans don't see. We get angry, fine, because we're fans. But then you have to look at the technicality of the game. What could have happened in that situation? Because for me, that was a technical deficiency in what happened right there at that point. What about the, what about the Xhaka incident? The Xhaka incident is really simple for me, and I don't care what people think. Two wrongs cannot make a right. You can never correct a wrong thing by doing a wrong thing. It doesn't work that way. First and foremost, who was walking off the pitch? That is wrong. And then you go on and do ironic chairs because you're happy to take him off. That is wrong as well. You cannot motivate a player by having to go at him. You can motivate him off the pitch or you can talk about him on social media all you want. But during the game, hang on, hang on. During the game, during the game, it affects the players. It affects everybody around them. You don't agree. It affects no, you don't agree. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask him. No, you don't, why you don't agree? Because, come on, we will look at it. If you're coming out, if you're walking off, yes, we're being sarcastic, clapping you. But when you go ahead and take off the arm and take off the shirt, that. that's not a captaincy for Arsenal. Are we having this too long now? Emery need to understand. Remember, Arsenal is the fans. Remember that. He's and he's not our captain. Not it is Emre captain. Arsenal football. So you, hold on, you pick the captain now? No, 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 no. What we're saying. He's what the we're, captain. What we're saying for 35 million from Wenger bought this guy is average. So why should we let him be captain? Why, why oh, have him ever step up and said, yes, he's going to take. Look at um, Ben Gozi. Look at, look, at, look at the teenager. Look what he's doing. He should be our fucking captain. Come on. He's way more motivated than anybody else on the pitch. I disagree with what he's saying. I agree with the fact that um, Shaka has been average. I get that. I'm talking about this game. I'm not going to go back to. I'm talking about this game. The question is, were we right as fans to boo him? No. No. No, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Now, in a football game, you need motivation for players. You need your players to be at their best. You hang on, hang on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. What happens in a squad? They are a unit. It rubs off on the other players. Torreira came up to look at the fans. He's angry for his teammates. You can't you cannot do the point is is rub it rubs off. Do you play football, my brother? If you play football, if someone is booing you, how is that going to do your he confidence? Off. What if it, it doesn't matter, Robbie? A guy coming off the pitch and we are being sarcastic. What that got to do? We are getting, we are letting the, we are letting what we are doing there to let the all ten players who left on the pitch let them know that they need to step up. We're not happy. We're not happy. So if a player going to come off the pitch and we are being sarcastic and he's going to do that, how can you defend him for our captain? For
Try six shots off. Okay, walk that way. He doesn't walk that way. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can see. I can see it's a contentious. I can. Come on, man. Would you get here? There's something you need to understand about football, yeah? Football is not just about fans running their mouth. It's about the technicality of the game. If you're on the football page, you need to understand what motivation does to players. Okay? And that's not going to help any player. Let, let me ask you. Let me, let me just finally, let me go finally run it because there's loads of people here. He does make a good point, though. How's that going to help Xhaka, especially going forward in the future? Oh, hold on. Ironic cheers. You know, we, we, we did a similar thing with Abue years ago. Yeah. It's like you're, you're killing a player, isn't it? You're killing him. You're saying to that player, you know what? I mean, is that right? Rabbit. He's our player, isn't he? Rabbit. The whole point about this, everybody seems to forget. Xhaka is coming off the pitch. How can we motivate a player who's not going to play? That's not what I said. No, but you're, so dissing what you're dissing him. You're dissing him, isn't it? You're dissing him as he's coming off. You, it's ironic cheers. No, hold on. Xhaka's name gets, hey, get off. Yeah, that, I mean, the whole stadium. That's not right. That's not right. It's our player. What fans do, Rabbi? And Xhaka go and do that. Come on, Rabbi. You can't do that as a captain. Rabbi, you've been here too long to know that, to defend that. It doesn't matter what the fans do. Before we can do anything. Of course we can do anything. It's up to this us, so we do club. anything. This is our club. This is our club. Oh, we but we got hard working money for this club. Who builds have... this? Rabbi, who build this? Who build... The fans build this. Everybody who pay to watch Arsenal play football, we build this. No our money build this. Not the player them build this, Rabbi. We pay them to play. So if you're not playing good, are you coming off the pitch? Don't tell me that I'm going to motivate you coming off the pitch. Come on, Rabbi, man. Come on, Rabbi.